passing away there and reappeared here. Thus, with these aspects and particulars, I recollected my manifold past lifetimes. Now, when his collected mind is purified, bright, unblemished, rid of imperfections, malleable, wieldy, steady, and attained to imperturbability, he directs it to the knowledge of passing away and reappearance of beings. This means going into the different realms the hell realms, the heavenly realms, the Brahma realms, being able to visit, talk with beings in those realms, find out what they did in their past so that they got where they are. What did they do? That sort of thing. There's a story about this one man that he was reasonably pious man during the time of the Buddha. And he went off to work and everybody in his family decided they were going to take the eight precepts for the day. And he didn't know about that. And he worked all day. And he was famished when he came home. He wanted to eat. But he found out that everybody had taken the eight precepts. And he wanted to do that too. So he didn't eat. Because he didn't eat, he wound up dying that night. And he was reborn as an elemental. He became a, a deva of the tree, as like a tree spirit. Mogalana was uh, kind of boogieing around in all these different realms, and he saw that this deva was in this tree, and he went to that realm, and he started talking with that deva, and he said, what did you do so that you could be reborn here? This is a pleasant abiding. You're in the deva realm. It lasts for a long period of time. You have a lot of sensual pleasures and this sort of thing. What did you do? And the Deva was very reluctant to talk with Mogalana. And finally he told Mogalana that I tried to lead a good life. I didn't lead a particularly good life. I broke a lot of precepts and that sort of thing. But on the night that I died, I took the eight precepts even though I was very hungry. And I didn't eat. And because of that, I, I died. And the merit of that caused me to be reborn as a deva. These are the kind of stories that you can wind up having when you visit the different realms. You can find out why people are in hell realms. You can talk to them about that sort of thing. And you see that some of the hell realms are really nasty places. You don't want to be caught up in them. It's like the Greek stories about some of these guys that got the gods mad at them. Like the, the one guy that was chained up and a vulture came and ate his liver out every day. And then it grew back and then the vulture would come the next day and eat his liver out. Those kind of things happen. And there's places where they, the smell is exceptionally bad. There's one hell realm where it's the cold realm. And you don't have anything to keep you warm. And you're reborn in this hell realm and you freeze continually. And I think that probably happened to me because I get cold so easily. <laughs>